But the key point here, and this is what the people of South Australia must be asking, why did a system here allow them to generate 41%, 42% of its power from wind and solar without the necessary backup? Uh, that's the point. State governments, regardless of their political hue, need to take responsibility for ensuring the stability of the system. The battery storage that we're announcing today You're saying state is significant. Wait for a no, no, I'm saying that every state government needs to prepare here and now for their own uh, situation when they have 42% renewables. They have to take responsibility for that. Unfortunately, that planning wasn't in place. Was your announcement today designed to embarrass the state government? Or... <laughs> well, to be honest, I didn't. I didn't even know Jay was going to be here. But I, you know, welcome his uh, his uh, his presence because uh, we need to work together, federal and state governments, uh, the private sector and elsewhere, to ensure the stability of the system. In today's announcement, we have put our money where our mouth is. $5 million have gone in today's project. It's been a long time coming. I've had previous briefings from the, from the company. Uh, ARENA uh, is making these type of investments right around the country. This has got nothing to do with the federal-state difference on, on some of these issues. No, this is all about, about the expansion. There's no mountain expansion announcement. Is that, oh, is, no. that is the timing of that designed to, to, um, to no, one-up one no. one no. on the state government? <laughs> well, I, I do point out 2,000 megawatts is 20 times the size of the battery. Um, that Jay, but look, this is a, that's a national scheme. That's a national scheme, uh, and uh, you know we have been working closely with Snowy Hydro, uh, and. Uh, and obviously uh, this is something that ARENA will be involved in going forward, but it's got nothing to do with the South Australian announcement. Premier, do you, you find this, Premier, do you find this a bit galling? Yes, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it shows that the Commonwealth Government are in a white-knuckled panic about national energy policy. I mean, it's a $2 billion admission that the national energy market is broken and there <coughs> needs to be public investments to actually fix it up. And that's exactly what it was at the heart of our plan. We're not going to wait four to seven years, though, to invest in some snowy hydro scheme. We're investing here so that South Australia can become self-sufficient. I've got to say, it is a little galling to be standing here next to a man that's been standing up with his Prime Minister, bagging South Australia at every step of the way over the last six months, to be standing here on this occasion, him suggesting that we want to work together. It is a disgrace the way in which your government has treated our state it is the most anti-South Australian government we have seen from a Commonwealth government in living memory. What we have is a national energy market that is broken. We had a Prime Minister that came in here to this state during the course of the last federal election campaign celebrating our leadership in relation to renewable energy and then taking credit for it through his own renewable energy target. And for you to then turn around within a few short months when there's a blackout and point the finger at South Australia for the fact that our leadership in renewable energy was the cause of that problem is an absolute disgrace. And you'd be standing here, sitting next to us, trying to take credit for some small scheme which goes nowhere near fixing the size and the extent of the problems that have been created in this state is an outrage.